Hey boo-boos, what is up? It is Tess back with another video. So before we get started, I want to thank Nails by Key for sharing my Kirby Nails video because that actually brought me quite a few subscribers. So I'm so grateful to her for helping me reach more people in the nail community. This is why I love the nail community. Everybody, mostly everybody is so supportive and so loving towards each other. So thank you to her and thank you to all of my new subscribers. Um, anyways, we are doing the poly gel application obviously but since the base color is the same for all of the nails, I decided to only leave in the application of two nails. Um, I've done it before in previous videos. Uh, it's just a little tedious and repetitive, so I decide not to leave in like the whole application of the poly gel. Um, if you like the application part of the video, by all means, let me know and I can leave like the whole application process in there next time. But if you don't, I also have timestamps in my videos. Uh, just check in the description box down below. All right, now we are moving on to the nail art. My reference photo is about to pop up in a moment, but let's talk about the show. So this show ran for six seasons and it's pretty much documenting Bojack, who is the character we are depicting in the nail art today. And he is an addict. Um, the show is an adult animation who, they kind of poke fun, but also bring the reality of different social issues into the show regarding infertility and addiction and um, depression, anxiety, things like that. So if you're into a really dark but um, kind of comforting show, I would definitely recommend it. This photo I picked specifically because it kind of brought the darkness of the show into the nail set, the melancholy vibe, the sadness. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it was perfect, especially with the moon in the background. And then the other picture that I had done, which you will see me outlining in a moment, kind of just depicted what it feels like to be in a trans state of addiction and, you know, dealing with drugs and all that. So I, I definitely feel like I did my thing with this set. The bottle nail could have been better, but you know, whatever. It still looks amazing. I'm not going to dog on myself too much, but I hope you guys enjoy this set. And I actually do hope you guys check out the show. This, oh my God, I just had a list. The show, because it really is comforting to me. Um, and I feel like it could be comforting to a lot of other people out there.
We're now moving on to the filling in of the outline. That was a mouthful. But my goal for the character's whole look was to make it um, watercolory, like watercolor paint because if you look on the show at the characters and anything really in the whole show itself it has a watercolor vibe they don't use too many highlights and um contours in the show um it actually looks like very subtle blending of like a whole mix of colors i don't know how to explain it i am so sorry you guys i suck at explaining things but to me it just looks like watercolor so i think i did a good job with depicting that in this nail set because when i put the top coat over it everything just seamlessly blended in and it just looked so pretty this right here was my favorite nail because of the moon in the background i don't know why it just was so beautiful to me So I had forgotten to film the rest of the moon art. So here you are going to be seeing me top coating it just so you guys can see how pretty it looks all put together and because I feel bad because I forgot to put the rest of the moon art in there so sorry. <laughs> I was pretty hesitant about posting this video on YouTube because I, for one, I had to ask my Instagram and if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is in the description box down below. Um, I wasn't sure if anybody watched the show or if anybody knew what it was or if anybody was even into it in the slightest. So I don't know. I just was really hesitant, but I'm happy I'm posting it because it's a really pretty nail set. Um, and I hope you guys look into the show because it's a really, really good show. Like, you wouldn't think it'd be a good show, especially by the way it looks on covers and stuff and the fact that there's, like, a horse as, <laughs> as the main character. But it really is. Like, I really, really love the show. And I wish it would have went on just a little bit longer.
for this nail, I took the psychedelic vibe of one of my reference photos and did like the colorful swirls around the vodka bottle. And I actually did not really have a reference for the bottle itself. I kind of just tried to make it look like it came from the show the best I could. It was hard though. I think in inanimate objects are really, really hard for me to draw, especially on nails. I probably should practice that more like in my notebooks and stuff because I'm always practicing characters. I need to start practicing different things though. Oh, and I've also started practicing doing like Pixar characters with more of the 3D, 4D vibe because I really, 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 really want to do some Pixar nails, but I want to make sure I get it right for you guys. So I've been in my notebooks sketching and trying to figure out what I can do to make myself a little bit better to do those portraits of those certain characters. gonna let this beautiful nail shine so here is my reference photo and as you can see the sky behind him I thought that was so pretty and I really 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 wanted to add it to the nail set thinking back I almost feel like I should have done the pinky nail this way too but you know what whatever it still looks amazing I'm still obsessed but my key for making stars that look like this is you wanna mix a little bit of white and top coat together to make it look sheer. And then you go in with your solid white paints and that is what makes the gorgeous nail. And here are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!